I wanted to print this Insta360 Go mount from the files on Thingiverse. You can see the representation of the STL file here. It was no surprise then when I imported it into my slicer of choice that it was at the same strange angle. I happen to use this slicer. It has all the print settings for the printer that I'm using, which is a royal pain to import into other slicers easily. One wrinklet with uh, this particular software is that there is no way to get an object to lie flat on the bed just by an instruction. You can rotate it. For example, I want to rotate it around the x-axis around about 90 degrees, but clearly still it's not lying flat. Now I could mess around for ages trying to guess what the angle is. The real solution would have been to sort that problem out with the CAD program that it was designed in, but I don't have access to that. All I have is the STL. So what to do? After a bunch of googling around, I found out that within the free 3D Builder program bundled with uh, Microsoft these days, did I really say free and Microsoft in the same sentence? Incredible. Uh, here it is. Clearly the model is still at the strange angle. If I click on it, I can rotate it and get it somewhere near where I want it. But once again, I don't know the exact angle. If I now go to the object menu, we can see the option here for settle. Clicking that immediately puts it down on the base plate, which is excellent. Again, I don't have my 3D printer set up. We'll just OK that. What I elected to do then was to save the file as an STL. Give it a new name. Ignore that warning. Close my program there. Delete the original and simply open up our fixed file, which we can see here looking like it's nice and flat on the bed. There's a couple of ways to double check that that in fact is the case. If we go into the preview, we can see, if we look top down, this is the couple of loops that I put in to make sure that the filament is primed in the printer. We can see that the first layer is also present in that view. To further investigate, if we go into the layers view, we can clearly see that at layer 1, which is at 0.3 millimeters, we have not only our loops, but the start of the object itself. There we have it then, just a quick video. I thought I'd share that with you, and I hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching.